after talking to a lot of INFJs, well, a few INFJs over the years and thinking about my friend that was an INFJ, my best friend, just thinking about us and how we are and, you know, I realized something. What I thought was mental illness for most of my life, because I was so different from everybody else, was probably the INFJ personality. <laughs> just, just the, just with the what my personality was, because it, the INFJ personality is is not just different; it's way different. <laughs> than everybody else on the planet, you know, that isn't one. It, it's so different that I, I'm like, I have to be mentally ill because I'm so different. And that's, and it kind of hit me today. Like maybe what I thought was mental illness throughout my whole life was just the INFJ personality, <laughs> just what I am, you know what I mean? And that's why I could never fix it. No matter what medication I took, no matter what counselor I saw, no matter, you know, no matter what I did, I couldn't fix what I was naturally, which is the INFJ personality type. <laughs> I was trying to change the INFJ personality type into a normie, one of the normies, being normal. I was trying to become normal, you know, like the people around me. Um, hell, I was even trying to become like my narcissist family, you know what I'm saying? Like, because they, they always thought there was nothing wrong with them. They they always made me think there was something wrong with me. So I'm like, how do I become like them? So I, so I don't feel like I'm different. You know what I mean? So it's a tough position. It's a tough life being an INFJ, you know, like your whole life. Um, And, and I, I, I understand the struggle of like thinking that you're mentally ill just because you're different than everybody else. And, um, you know what I mean? And you can't be like everybody else, no matter what you do, you know, cause Lord knows I've tried everything to be like everybody else. So I won't be mentally ill or crazy in their eyes. You know what I mean? But what I realized just recently is like, I think I've been trying to change my personality type <laughs> and seeing my personality type as the mental illness. You know what I mean? What I am naturally, I see as the mental illness, you know, because I'm different. I'm a lot different than, and if you're an INFJ, you know that, um, how different you are than, um, most of society. Um, have you ever fit in any organization? Nope. Have you ever fit in any group? Nope. You can't fit in anywhere. You know, I know I can't. I can't fit into any organization, any group, any company, any. I can't fit in to, you know what I'm saying? They like me okay, but like I can't like fit in, like be like them. You know what I mean? Because I'm not like them, no matter what I do. And I've tried to be like everybody else I try to be like the normies I try to be like the narcissist I try to be like um anybody that thinks they're normal and confident I try to be like them and I can I couldn't be I can't be like them so I don't know I used to just think I was cursed but I think I was just an INFJ starseed and that's what the curse is <laughs> Being an INFJ star seed is the curse, you know, never feeling like you belong here. Can't fit in with any group of people. Nobody understands you. Um, nobody cares to understand you. Um, so it's kind of lonely, you know what I mean? Um, you know, I do kind of feel less lonely when I talk to other INFJs, you know, I, you know, I feel kind of less lonely, but and less different, um, but I swear, that, I swear that my personality type is what I was trying to m medicate, 
you know, I was trying to make my personality type different, you know, like it was the mental illness. <laughs> like the INFJ personality type was the mental illness. I, I, I swear that's what I thought was, was wrong with me. Um, but anyways, I gotta go, but it just kind of hit me. I'm like, fuck. I think I just thought that this, what I am naturally, I thought was the mental illness, was mental illness. Just me natural was mental, mentally ill, you know, but anyways, I'll talk to you later.